Sea of Thieves Season 8 has now released, and with it, it brings in two new captaincy alignments, the Guardian and the Servant. These two offer some really unique rewards, so what is the fastest way to level them up to Legendary? Let's start by taking a look at the rewards. For the Guardian, you get the new Legendary Interior. This looks amazing. People were questioning why it wasn't added in Captaincy, and this is why it was. On the other hand, for the Servant, you have the new Bone Crusher set. Again, another set people really wanted. They both look just stunning, and I'm glad that they made them for what they are, and they didn't just give them away really easily. Additionally, there's also new trinkets, some of which, oh my goodness me, they look just amazing amazing the best trinkets they have now they are all our trophies there are no new ornaments sadly but it's definitely worth getting them and it's all for the new pvp stuff with the new alignments as well there's obviously also new crests new titles new banners and new captain's logbooks oh and new flags definitely forgot them these are some of the best free rewards they've offered, especially for the crests. The new crests, they, they do look more detailed than the ones they added in default with captaincy, so really good job rare. But let's take a look at the new alignments then, and discuss realistically how you're going to be able to get them up really easily. Let's take a look at the milestones. For the Guardian, we have Servants of the Flame ship sunk. Battles completed as Guardian. Faction Champion attained as Guardian. Gold earned from Sands of Fate as Guardians. Battles won against Servants by Seeking Foe. Battles won against Servants by Repelling Foe. Servant Championship sunk. And then for the Servants, we have Guardians of Fortune ship sunk. Battles completed as Servants. Faction Champions attained as Servants. Gold earned from Sands of Fate as Servants. Battles won against Guardians by Seeking Foe. And battles won against Guardians by Repelling Foe. And of course, Guardians Championship sunk. Now, these milestones are obviously very similar. So we can discuss the Servants and the Guardians as one. And it's kind of straightforward the best way to do this. One big thing to note is that Repelling Foes is only two. Whereas Seeking Foes is three. And I've actually found, recently at least, because the servers are so crowded that Repelling Foe, you get the same amount of regularity as you do Seeking It. Now alright, that might calm down its cool with Seeking Foe, but in the short term, I'd capitalize on that. Because you can get gold, and then you can also just Repel Foe, and it's a lot quicker. And it's two instead of three. That's the first major thing. The second major tip is to seek out Faction Champions, and become Faction Champions yourself. Do those two, because they're only one per grade. As a reminder, you have to get 50 in a class overall. Your class overall needs to be 50 to get your ship to Legendary. And the various rewards are at varying different levels. Same with the ship customizations. Just as another reminder, the crests, logbooks, titles and banners are subject to that ship's class. However, the interiors are subject to your pirate's overall class. So if you unlock an interior for one boat, you've unlocked it for all boats. Just a little reminder there. Anyways, back to the best way to level these up. I think the biggest thing to remember as well is that you do have to be willing to engage in PvP. After all, these are PvP classes. That was why they added them. That is the whole point of them. So if you don't want to engage in PvP, it's not quite going to cut it. Another interesting thing to note is that the Sands of Fate one, the one that you have to get 50,000 gold in, is only 50,000. That's not a lot. Because you can get that at grade 1 treasure grade from say four or five ships now all right that might be a lot to some but if you get loads and loads of treasure you'll get that in no time i haven't tested it out because the max treasure grade i don't know how hard it is to get it is obviously day one of launch but get that to max and you'll be getting such a high sense of fate and then combine that with an emissary grade at the moment emissary grades they're gonna get nerfed you get athena grade five from sinking two ships you get three and a three quarters grade from sinking one ship and then it just gets you to five with the other. It is ridiculous. And so you can times your Sands of Fate value by 2.5. This is probably going to be the 
biggest one for most people and where you're going to get most of your classes from. Additionally, you will probably get a lot of it from sinking ships after all. It's a PvP update, you're going to get a lot of it from sinking. So it's definitely worth doing that as well. But definitely if you do want to focus more on the gold side of things, that's totally something you can do. I wouldn't say it's easy to do, but it's certainly not hard to do. Something I'd also like to point out is that there are effectively two milestones for the same thing. Because there's servant ship sunk, or guardian ship sunk, if you try and level up the servant, but then there's also by repelling and seeking. So you can do either of those, and you'll also level up the other milestone for doing literally the same thing. And so it's definitely worth doing that. It's literally the same thing. There's no reason why you shouldn't do this. Another thing that's quite significant is that there are battle completed milestones. What this means is that you'll level that up no matter what you do. So engage in PvP and just like, fight. Whether it's repelling or seeking, you only need to do five, which isn't that much compared to two or three. It's only two or three more battles completed, so it's not too bad. And that would mean that you would only have to complete what? You Well, let's do five times 50. It's not that hard. You'd have to complete 200 battles, which sounds a lot, but if that's only if you're basing it purely off that. When it comes to other milestones, if you include them in, it's not going to be that bad because then you'd get by repelling or seeking, and they'd be easily like something. I mean, you know, you get the point, right? It's not that hard to do. You've just got to be actively engaging in PvP. PvE is not the way to go for these factions, and that is the big thing to note. You really can't do that well with solely PvE. A bit of PvE is certainly required, but PvP is the main way to level this up. It sounds obvious, I know, but I hope that guy's helped you out, because that does just about bring us to the end of the video. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below, because... Everyone wants to level everything up really quickly. So if we work together and you guys comment all your little ideas, if you found any techniques or whatever, then do let everyone know so we can all use them. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy them, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And while you're at it, why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.